guys, this is Versatile from Gain Dexterity. So in today's video tutorial, this is actually part two of the X-Link Kai video tutorial series where I'm going to show you how you can use this program for your various game devices. And in today's video, we're going to look at specifically the PSP and how you can play your games online using the X-Link Kai program. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, please see part one of this tutorial series. And in today's example, we're going to use everyone's favorite game, and that is Monster Hunter Portable. Third. And actually, if you go to Xlink Kai, that is like the game to play if you're using Xlink Kai. So how do you do this, right? And let me warn you guys, this is going to be a pretty technical, and it might be a very long tutorial, but I'll take you step by step on how to do this. I just suffered the last two hours trying to get Windows 7 64-bit to work because this guide that I have right here uh, really didn't help my cause, and I had to search the internet for some other special drivers. But don't worry, I got all the files, so you don't have to suffer like I did. Now that is a lot of good times. So how do we get started well if you go to the more info section here's the link this is the foundation tutorial and I'll sort of walk you through this real quickly here and then if you go to the more info section I also have a link to versatile's Kali PSP package that includes the files that I use on my desktop to get this up and running so it should be a lot of good times and let's do this so in a nutshell what happens here is you get your files okay you install this win pcap and then you install the excellent Kai and then you configure your Kai program which we already talked about in uh, part one actually uh, what's new is installing this Microsoft loopback adapter so you install this adapter after an adapter is installed then you gotta install the plug into your PSP and after you get that installed this is where all the hurt is especially if you are a Windows 7 64 bit user because you gotta install these drivers manually and man was it a bitch but we got through it I mean I got through it and I'll show you how you too can become the boss after you get all that crap done then you gotta use the Kai, the Kai program you gotta set it up to use your loopback adapter and then you gotta use this bridge program and then you can finally finally play online now that seems really really complicated I sort of went through it real easily within the last minute there or two minutes but let's go through the steps real quickly here alright so let's install the win pcap if you have um, which what I advise is you right click go to properties and go to compatibility and set it to Windows XP Service Pack 3 mode and run this program as an administrator so I already have this installed but I want you to basically double click on it and install it you can by all means go ahead and download the latest version if you desire so download install the WinPCAP and then of course install the excellent Kai if you haven't done so already now I want to go a little bit uh, out of step here and we see that in the tutorial well let's follow the tutorial because it'll make things easier as we go through life right so we're going to assume that you already configured your excellent Kai, which is fine. The next step is installing the Microsoft Loopback Adapter. So let's do that, right? So if you go to Start, you go to Run, and then you type in HDW Wiz W I Z and press OK. This is what's going to happen. So you click on Next. You say Install the hardware that I manually select from a list. Click on Next. We go down to Network Adapters. Click on Next, and then we wait and wait and wait until it shows you the list, and we click on Microsoft. And then we go down and we click on Loopback Adapter and click on Next. Click on Next. Start installing this bad boy. Eventually it gets done and you say uh, OK or Complete, whatever that prompt is going to be. Like so. Finish. Now, you can restart your PC at this point in time, but we're going to wait a little bit longer and get through a, a more portion of this tutorial before we install anything else. So we just installed the Loopback Adapter. Nice. That was easy. No, it wasn't that painful. The next step is we need to copy this ad hoc to USB plug into your PSP. Um, what's unique about this whole method is you're, we're using this USB cable. You don't need a wireless dongle. So that's the beauty of this particular method that we're going over today. So if you copy this ad hoc to USB.PRX file, go to copy, and then you go into your um, connect your PSP to your computer in USB mode. So let's do that right now. And I go to SE plugins and I paste here. And I'm going to overwrite my plugin that's already in there. Come on. And click on overwrite. Now, what you also want to do is go into the game.txt file. You don't have it, just make it. And then you want to copy and paste or write this out into your text file. ms0 colon slash sc plugin slash ad hoc to usb.prx. And then that is a space. And then the number one, go to file, go and save. And then that's it. Exit. So that's it on the PSP side. So far, so good. And when you go into your VSH menu on your PSP, it will be already enabled by default. So there's a lot of good times there already. All right, so let's go back to my special package. <clears throat> and we'll go to ad hoc to USB. Okay, now... 
the next step of the process here is we're going to install the PSP Type B driver. And this is where you can get a lot of hurt here. Um, in my package here, if you right click and extract, 7-zip extract to this folder, um, this is only for 32-bit Windows. So if you try to run it on 64-bit, it won't it won't work. But basically, bottom line is, if you have a 32-bit machine, kudos to you if you do. It basically looks like this screenshot. You say install this driver software anyway, and then it says congratulations, you are finished installing your PSP. Now, if you're a Windows 7 64-bit, this is where all the pain comes, because this file that this guy linked here, it didn't work for me. So I had to scour the internet, and I finally found something that works correctly, and I have in today's. Um, download package to help you guys out. So how do you use it, right? So what we need to do is we need to go back to start, go back to run, and we'll go to HDWWiz. And if you guys ha don't have a 64-bit Windows, you can skip ahead in this video. I'm okay with that. All right, so we go to here, click on Next. We say install the hardware that I manually select from a list. Click on Next. Show all devices. Um, yeah, let's try Next. Have Disk. Go to Browse. And then we go to your wherever you have extracted your files here. So I'm going to go to my files here. Let me go to ad hoc USB and select the PSP and click on open. Click on OK. It's going to show up like this. This is fine. Click on next. Click on next. And you'll see this screen say install this driver software anyway. Now, at this point in time, you want to make sure your PSP is disconnected from your PC. Don't have it running in USB mode right now. So we wait for this to uh, to um, do this installation. Now I don't know if you really have to uh, restart your PC, but to make things easy and to minimize the number of troubleshooting steps that we have to do, then I would recommend recommend rebooting the PC very shortly here, and I'll tell you when to do that. So at this point in time, yes, we should definitely reboot the PC. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to reboot this bad boy, and then we shall continue with the second half of this video. All right, we are back. So what I just did, I finished rebooting my PC. So what we're going to do now is we got we got to reconfigure the Xlink Kai. So we go to configure Kai. So bring that up, and what we're going to do is we want to make sure that it is selecting the Microsoft Loopback adapter in the drop-down list, which I'll show you momentarily here. Because if we don't use that, then the bridge program won't work, which you will require in order to redirect your traffic and make it work with the Xlink Kai. So we go here and we say Microsoft Loopback Adapter and click on Save. And then now we are good to go. So what's going to happen now is it shall boot or launch into the Kai program. If it doesn't, that's fine. Go to uh, right click and say Launch UI. So this is my program, which is fine. And what we're going to do is I am going to navigate to the Monster Hunter Portable Arena. So we go left click on PSP, click on this arrow here, go to Action, scroll down. Once it finished loading, we're going to scroll down all the way down to Monster Hunter Portable 3rd. So Monster, oops, oops, keeps on, OK, here we go. Click on this. Now, if I go to the English room, um, it's hit or miss. I mean, I saw some guys earlier today, but now there's like no one here. Damn. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Japan room. because There's a lot of guys in the Japan room, which is fine. And click on this until you see this right here. So I could sit here in this lobby, or if I want to, I could join these other guys' game. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to connect my PSP. Now, to help save some time, my PSP is already on. My game is already loaded. I'm sitting in the guild hall number one right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch the bridge program. I have not connected the USB cable to the PSP just yet. So I run this bridge program. I double click on it like so. Click on zero, or sorry, type zero. Now this is where you guys uh, tell the program what number is your loopback adapter. So for me, it's actually number three. So we click on uh, uh, type in number three, press enter. So it says this, searching for a PSP USB device, which is fine. Now I will connect my USB cable to my PSP while the game is on inside mm -hmm. the online lobby. And we see that it says um, it's, it's successfully found it. Great. Now if you go into the Kai program here, um, I think that's about it. Now if you are using the other program where you're inside the web browser, you click on the metrics tab, you'll see that your um, PSP has been recognized. So what I'm talking about is if I go back, let me change this configuration real quick, and I go to Web UI, press on save, 
And it doesn't matter which program you use or which interface you use, but I guess the web UI is sort of nice that way. So I go back to launch UI. And I'm just doing this just to demonstrate a point, guys. So if I click on metrics here and we scroll down, we see that my PSP is recognized. Sweet. If your PSP is not recognized here, then we got larger issues and you cannot play online until you get this recognized. All right, so now what I'm going to do is let me switch to my camera, which is actually going to be recording footage of me playing on the PSP. So let's jump into that portion of the video right now. All right, let's do this. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to accept this guy's quest. There's one guy already in the lobby. And what I'm going to do is uh, let me accept this quest real quick here. Sweet. So now we go over here to this um, gate, press square. And we are ready to rock and roll. Now, one thing that I did notice, and maybe it's my connection, or maybe it's the other guy's connection, I really don't know, but um, I was playing a game earlier today, and I had maybe like 10 minutes of good gameplay, and then all of a sudden it disconnects. I really don't understand why that happened, but um, I don't know. I'll figure it out one of these days. And just for the, if you're curious on what type of firmware I'm running, I'm running CFW 3.38. ME-3, uh, I do believe. Ah, oh, crap. I don't know where to go. I haven't played this uh, particular map before. So anyways, we can clearly see that the game works out fine, and if you're a big Monster Hunter Portable 3rd fan, or any other Monster Hunter game, by all means, go on uh, Excellent Kai, try to find a room, and try to, uh, you know, tear it up with some other gamers. Oh yeah, let's take out this dinosaur. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Why is Vice uh, running and leaving me alone to die? What the hell? But yeah, like I said, we can clearly see that this game works out fine. If you like this type of video, please like, favorite, and subscribe so that hopefully one day we get to the front page of YouTube. Otherwise, if you got any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.